Hi and welcome to this training video brought to you by Coric Group. In this video I'm going to show you how to pick a line and stake out a line. So here we have uh, a line here in our CAD drawn. So if we zoom out, uh, this uh, icon indicates that here we are in the field. I'm going to select a line, so this is just a standard DXF drawing. So if I tap, double tap anywhere on the screen just to deselect everything and then I select this line, you'll see that it highlights the whole line in blue. Uh, if you hold anywhere down on the screen, you can get extra options here so you can view that it's a center line. You can stake out the one item, stake out the polyline, do offset, a horizontal or vertical, or use this line for area calculations or reverse the line so you can see that the arrow is going from left to right but you can actually reverse the polyline from left to right so the change would be zero down here at the minute zero is here at the minute okay if you want to list and selected multiple things you can actually see the list of things selected or it's clear selection clear selection is also double tapping on the screen so what i'll do is i've just tapped the line and it's going to go straight into stakeout and it brings me into all these uh, icons in here so it tells me the poly uh, name is center line there's no code associated with this and it gives me stakeout so this is a stakeout method to the line okay so you can actually go to the line uh, when you select the line you walk up along the line it'll randomly tell you where you are and how far offset you are left or right from the line distance along a line so you can put in uh, preset intervals uh, along the line uh, station on the line put in changes station and offset change and offset values horizontal and vertical and then slow from the line put in rise or run or falls and then this uh, station and skew offset is uh, multiple different offsets so if i go into to the line hit start it'll tell me there how far i am from the line so you see there's the line there so it says i'm uh 151 mil away from the line so if i start moving along the line you'll tell me now i'm on the line so i'll just x out of my level uh, e-bubble so see here's the line here so if i actually start moving uh, along the line it'll tell me i'm too far to the left 72 mil so if i go to the other side it'll say i'm h 149 mil to the right so it'll always show you the line here okay you can go in and turn on and off your e-bubble here uh, your sun orientation or your north and then into options here your default options so your uh, direction of travel and survey center okay so once you go in there you can actually measure a point along that line or move along the line okay so if i uh, go into escape one and go this time distance along the line it'll say what distance do i want to go to along that line so i could say two meters and then starting at that two meters i want to go an interval every five meters hit enter and start and then it'll create these little circles here along the line for me so here's one circle so it's literally a distance it's two to this point so if i go into there and stake out that point there you go it says distance along the line started at two meters one meet mill out and then i can stake out that line if i escape there and go to station on the line it breaks it up into even stations here of whatever intervals so it starts even at zero It'll give you the list uh, 5 10 uh, change of direction uh, so this is a point of intersection so it's five there's a change in direction so it indicates that goes into even and then the last one is the end so a is the start uh, then you have your change value point of change so your tangential point or your point of intersection and then your change again and then your end so if you go to 10 we'll say pick your station hit start it'll actually bring you to 10 on the line so most uh, useful is 
uh, point line. So literally the most popular two would be to the line. So to see where you are. So if you hit start, it'll tell you there you're at change two. Okay. If you want to set that out, then you'd go into here, station on the line, station and say this time two. And then hit start. It'll bring you to two. So if I just show you here, so now I'm on directly on two and then it'll break in the intervals and start at five along for you. So that's uh, staking out a line in Trimble Access. Thank you.